right, so just wanted to show you guys kind of something we have going on. Um, so bending over in these fabric beds, although I l absolutely love them, it's just the fact that I'm an old lady and it's taken too much uh, toll on my back. So I bought or had a guy build me a worm bin out of wood and I am just utterly amazed at how good these worms are doing in these bin, this bin. I mean, it's just phenomenal. And so, I decided that, you know, since we're taking down these breeder bins, we were gonna take all of this down, but I decided that we would just build wooden boxes on them and my grandson-in-law, the one that built these these racks, is going to build them for me. And uh, for me and Tabitha, because again, Tabitha's pregnant again. So, for those of you who don't know. So, her bending over and lifting and, and I was about as bad as an old lady. So, we've got them started here. We're gonna actually be able to do six, I mean, not three eight foot beds. We just, she went to get me the wood for the sides. And we're also gonna have one breeder rack at the end of each one of these. So we can um, have, you know, some breeders going along with each one of these ends. So, um, I think that's gonna work out well. These, we, we fixed them for my height, so it's, you know, it's not gonna be so hard because of, of the way, the height of them. Um, I'm not a real tall woman. I'm not a short woman, but I'm not real tall. And so, um, I needed them to be about hip high. And, um, and these, I think, are going to work out perfect. Um, hopefully, tomorrow, I will have them, I want at least this section finished. And, um... Then we're going to start on another uh, section of them. So, I think you guys are going to be really amazed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come off of my overhead water up here with PVC over the beds and have risers that drop down over the bed. And that way, they will be up out of the way. But we can... Uh, start our automated watering back up which is going to save us a tremendous amount of time because we right now are watering once a day and next month it'll probably go to twice a day so um we may not have to water as much in the wooden bins because they may hold more moisture than what the um fabric beds do and the good thing about the wooden bins also is, you know, they'll have little cracks and the water can seep out of that. So I think we'll still be good on anybody that actually overwatered them. You know, it won't kill them. So um, unlike if you have plastic bins, if you have plastic bins, it's very easy to put too much water in those. Um, although I, I, I don't have a problem with the plastic bins. They're really good for breeder bins. Um, so it's just on this scale, it's really hard to do. So yeah, so anyway, um, 
I'll keep you guys updated on our progress. And um, I think we're gonna be filling in this whole section and we're gonna move all of our, um, we're gonna fill this up with the bins. And then this section back here, this is where we're gonna move all of our operations to. So our trommel, our packaging, um, you know, anything that needs to be done um, will be done over here and all the worms will, will be back on this other side. All right, I will keep you guys posted. Y'all have a wonderful day.